Attack on Titan, Chapter 114, The Only Salvation. Have a good look, Seek. This is District Liberio, where we live. We have a flashback in their sight scene. Oh, Dr. Jaeger and young Zeke, his wife. If you compare it with the rest of the world, then it's as small as a birdcage. We're forced to live here until the day with death. Being unable to go anywhere else. Zeke, don't you want to get out of here? Yeah, I do. And Jenner? How oh, strange. Visitors at such an early time? I'll come back later. We're going back home. Ah, oh, and oh, he knows the, or man, oh, aliens. Just brash some water on them. But what on earth? We have the authorization to go out. I'm a cleaner here, not a security agent. Clean trash is my job. My workplace is getting dirty because of you, demons. You slaughtered almost everybody. Children of the demon. You should have been exterminated, all of you. But you still have children. Why do you still give birth to other demons? Mr. Jager, or Dr. Jager still wet. Remember, Zeke, this is outside world. Chilling him, he's crying. If this world is wrong, then it must be changed. Okay, he's in battle. Zeke, you will. Be the one to save us all. You know, the French? Two guys on horses. One of these children is going to be my heir. Yes, we will choose one of them. There's a child left behind. Who is he? Ah, Jaeger again. Well, whereas the others are all working hard to become warriors and be honored citizens, he doesn't seem to have the guts to do so. I wonder why he came here. I was training Gonzik. It's very hard. Oh yes, but you will become a warrior, for sure. You have a special power, and above all, you're our son. Yes. And knock on the door. Dad, Mom, would you please look after Zeke this night again? Yeah. Come here, Zeke. See you later. Be a good boy. Good night, Zeke. Huh? Okay. So, the social dance club, or whatever. Is it so important that you have to leave a young child behind to go to every night? The one, the one's recommending proper exercise for the health maintenance of the district is me, after all. I want to protect the health of Vibrio. Instead of caring about everyone else's health, how about taking care of your own family? Zeke is feeling lonely. Yes, we also want to be by his side. But one day, Zeke will come to understand what we were doing. Truly, one day. <laughs> no, is that a book? This happened 1200 years ago, the tragedy of Lago. Within one day, Lago, the big city of Marley, was extinguished, and by the advancing Titans, the havoc of M Monte, and the calamity of Valley, unfolded and tens of thousands of Marlins were killed by the Elnian Empire. Furthermore, the refugees who somehow managed to escape wandered aimlessly into the wilderness, but the Eldian Empire had placed Titans in their way, and so, when the Titans rose with the sun, the Marlins were, yeah, I understand, a lot of people died, right? Your father, he, is he teaching you correct history? Huh? Oh, so he suspects his son. Yeah, he says that because Eldians did horrible things against Marlins, we have to atone for that here. Father's saying the same things they are teaching us in school. Zeke, do you want to become a warrior and fight for Marley? He's looking elsewhere. Yeah, I, I want to become a warrior. He's being coached. Come now, it's time for bed. Let's continue reading the cat's house next time, okay? Yeah. Looks like, oh. It's Mr. Yeager's sister who died. Okay, putting together guns. Someone kick him ball. Oh. I'm home. Father, I finished early today. So? Oh, is that so? You can do a lot of studying today, then. Yes. Oh, you want to play with his father? The teaching? In other words, Lago's tragedy never happened. So it's propaganda. Neither did Monte's Havoc. 
nor Valley's Calamity. All of it is nothing more than pre-made up stories about Marley's circumstances. Since ancient times, the Elden people never had such a cruel civilization or traditions. Above all else, it's impossible because our great founder, Ymir, wouldn't wish for such a thing. That's right. You got a Zeke and pat on my head? You too. It's time to go see Grandpa. Yes. Alright. We've made one more step towards Eldian's restoration today. Yes. Okay, he's ruined the... Um, proctor. Those who have no motivation, leave. Oh, he's being singled out. Marley is looking for men who are willing to vote everything to their motherland. There's no way that we can trust our nation's titan to an Eldian like you. Pikmon, so he's walking behind everyone. Baseball, okay. Hey, you there. Did you throw that ball? Wait. Huh, so he throws it? Oh. Even though you're still small, you're pretty good. Huh? Like me. Here. So there. Nice catch. Fun catch. Having a wall for a partner can get boring. Will you play with me for a while? Ah, looks at the armband. A red armband? You are. I'm Marlin's warrior. You guys aim to become. However, my beast titan is not useful in this war. So I am just playing ball here. Oh. I am Tom Xavier. My principal occupation is being a Titan researcher. Here. What's your name? I'm Zeke Yeager. Zeke. You have a good feel for baseball. You're very suitable to become a, to become a pitcher. He's happy. Okay, so the plane. I'm home. Dad, you know today. We'll listen to it later, Zeke. He's with someone else. After the medical examination is over. Okay, so they close the door. What's going on, Grice? This mission will be a failure if Zeke isn't able to become a warrior. Like Al said, for Zeke to become a successor of the of a Titan, he needs to keep his grades up. They're fighting? At any rate, if you plan to sneak Zeke into the recapture plan of as a warrior, understand that the resurrection of Elia has been drawn back. But who knows how many hundreds of years? It will be until we get another chance like this. But with Zeke's abilities, there's still a possible chance of victory, right? Yeah, but even so. If it's Zeke, then he knows his son to come out. I'm sorry. But if it's you, if it's you, we can do it. It's because you are a child. Also Royal. I'm pretty sure I told you Marley doesn't need you. And he comes back? Why are you here? So is he Push back into the army because of the father? Oh, wait, yeah. To come save for Eldian's, uh, Eldian's son. By showing loyalty to Marley, please let me participate in the public training. He's behind everyone. Yeah, they're watching. He's all exhausted. All. Dr. Jaeger's like going away, face palming. What are you doing, Jaeger? Like, run. Like, get going. On oh, Sabres. Shoot. This can't be happening. Don't say that. He gave his very best, right? I know. It's not that. By no means can he become a warrior. If we don't come up with a new plan immediately. The plane catch? Ha ha ha. The other day went terrible, huh? It's nothing to laugh about. I've always been made uh, to be the handyman. But for me, it's all over. You really didn't seem like you really wanted to become a warrior anyway. It's because I had to. Even so, it, it was absolutely hopeless. No wonder. You a warrior. How ridiculous. Doing something like shortening your lifespan, invading countries, killing people for the sake of Marley is stupid. And you cannot keep tag along, right? Ah! Mr. Xavier, why? Are you a warrior? Because I want to know about the mystery of the Titans. I'm a researcher after all. It's been said the Nine Titans have existed for over 2,000 years before we were even born. It's a miracle I still cannot believe. To think that blood, meat, and bones appearing from an invisible path. Don't you think so? Don't you think so too? Huh? 
Everything seems to be everything that everything seems to have started from the foundry and mirror transmitted something. I want to know what happened that two thousand years ago. From the light shortening to being able to explore the memories of the Titans. Transmitted something. A disease? Is that why they only live for so long? Because they seem utterly useless in war. Isn't it ridiculous that there's a dispute and hatred over Titans rather than appreciation? You and I are alike. We can't continue playing soldiers. Because we are unusual honest people in this world. Ace mopping or sweeping. It's better like this. Even if we never get to go out of the internment zone. If only we can stay alive. And his parents. We have finally found a lead. Oh shoot. Seems like they've taken the name of Eldian Reservations. Uh oh. They got quite the structure this time. Appears they hold meetings every night somewhere inside Liberio. Oh. And that they have deployed a spy in Marley that goes under the name of the Owl. We have a good grasp of the situation. What we need now is only to find some evidence. And that's a matter of time. Zeke. Huh, it's, okay, he's eating food, huh? What's wrong? Hurry up and eat. M my stomach hurts a bit. Okay, as far as looking at him. What have you learned from your father up, to, up until now? If nobody ever stands up, everyone is going to die a pitiful death inside these cramped walls. Isn't that so? Exactly. We told you, right? This fight is for both yours and the Eldian's future. Mm, for that end. For me to end up like Aunt Thaya, too. Would that be okay then? Zeke, can I pound on the table? Ah, uh, scaring him. Oh, he's crying. From the start, the very reason Thaya got killed, or was killed, is that this world is corrupt. Uh, it's corrupted. Dad, Mom, please don't do dangerous things anymore. Like, stunned? If we are discovered, we will all be sent to paradise. To be sent off to an island of devils. And for all of us to become Titans. It's like, we must fight so that nobody else will have to meet the same destiny as Faya. Or Faye. We'll take back our strong Eldian from Marley. We'll win back from them all of our given rights. But, but... Dad, if you hadn't gone outside the walls, Grandpa said, Oh, why? What can I do that? I only want to see the airship. Only that. And Zeke's crying by the wall. And Mr. Xavier come in. What's wrong, Zeke? Mr. Xavier. Good. Or God. What a thing. Your parents are reservationists. That's only a matter of time, you heard. Yeah. This way. Your entire family will be sent to paradise. Yeah, uh, but thank you for having played catch with me, Mr. Xavier. Even if I turned into a Titan, I remember from time to time. He starts weeping. Excuse me. Huh? What? Something like that. I can't do it. Huh? Wait, what? Or accuse them. Something like that. I can't do that. Zeke, you... You've been treated horribly by your parents. So you brainwashed them. Your parents have been using you for their own reckless plan. Exposing you. Only seven years old. And your grandfather and grandmother to a life-threatening situation. Selfishly expecting something of you. Selfishly abandoning you. They've never thought about you. Not even once. What? There is no other way. If we ourselves go to Marley's authorities and accuse them, and prove our loyalty, we can save you and grandparents. Oh, that's why you did it. They never loved me. What? Zeke. They're being carted away. It's not your fault. You are a clever and good child. He's playing baseball anymore? Okay. Whoa. They he's even lower. It weighs on me a bit. Ah. Has this become too hard for an old man like you? <laughs> hey you, I'm not that old dear. He starts huffing. Mr. Xavier. It's almost time. He's reaching the end of his inheritance term. Yeah. Got all the other 
members, any of them. I couldn't become an old man, but I don't regret having devoted myself to my research. I see. It seems like uh, I'll be able to present the results of my research at last. Um, what have you discovered? Some about the different effects the founding titan has had on your mere descendants. Ah, the thing about it controlling memories, that? I wonder if that, I wonder if it's true. It's not about manipulating memories. If its descendants of your mirror is able to change the composition of their bodies, huh? The holder of the founding titan, if he decides to use its power, you see, about 600 years ago, an epidemic broke out. So many people died that had resulted in the world's population dropping sharply. But one day, the confining empire of Eldia completely defeated the disease. It's not that there were fewer ill people among the descendants of Ymir that caught the disease. Not even one person died. Huh? The holder of the founding titan of the time had yielded its power and had rewritten the composition of the descendants of Ymir's bodies in a way that was favorable to the situation. Wait, what? Basically, we descendants, we descendants of Ymir no matter where or in what conditions we find ourselves in, we are like one part of founding Titan's body. What do you think? It's terrible, right? Well then, think about everything. I wonder, would the holder be able to make it so that Ymir's descendants cannot bear babies? Or babies? <laughs> if this person uses the power of the founding Titan, oh, is that what he's going to do? If no more descendants of Ymir were to be born, after a hundred years, Tynes would have surely vanished from this world. The world would have ha wouldn't have wouldn't have to be afraid of Tynes or suffer because of them anymore. More than anything, if from the start we hadn't been born, there would have been no suffering. It would have been better. It's like what, Mister Xavier? Like dropping the ball? I never told you this, but I had a little son, and my wife was a Marlene. I got rid of my R band, hid the fact I was an Eldian, and lived with my wife and had a baby. I was young and a fool, but there was no way I could deceive them forever. When my wife discovered I was an Eldian, died. She killed herself and her son by slitting their throats. What? There was a baseball in the blood. The reason I became a warrior is nothing more than the result of me wanting to find a luxurious way of killing myself. Huh? But in these 13 years, I devoted myself to research of Titans or on Titans. I met you and, and we play catch. It was fun. Look at my dead son and you. I've tried to escape my sins using the power of Titans. If only I hadn't been born in this world. I wonder just how better that would have been. Miss Vision, his son and wife. I'll inherit the Beast Titan. It's not for Marley's sake. I'll make the plan recover the Founding Titan succeed. Now I'll take away the Founding Titan from Marley. I'll try to save this world. Okay, I guess that makes sense for the title. I'll free the people of this world. From the fear of Titans. I'll free the aliens from their suffering. The only possible so salvation is aliens. Enthusiate. Uh, euthanasia. Okay. In the back of the court. At least by looking back. What did you say? Euthanasia or something? You're going to end up dying inside some stinky Titan's mouth while hearing the sound of your body getting chewed up, but. Wouldn't that be an awful, awful, gentle way for you to die? Remember the lives of my comrades that you've stolen. I didn't steal them. I saved them. The lives of those children from this cruel world. Huh? He's pulling out the blade. Looks like your legs were back. Oh, isn't that right? Wash me, Mr. Xavier. Huh? Ah, he's always moving. Oh, boom. Send Levi flying. And 
There goes Zeke's body. Fine. Oh. Poor horses. Zeke just blew off. Is Levi okay? Or did he blow off one of his legs? I see his left side is intact, but I don't see his right. The merciful man takes in Eldin's life away. Um, okay. Oh. Well, I guess this makes sense why uh, Zeke is such a homicidal maniac. He wants to end all the aliens. He wants to make it so everyone doesn't have babies. That's not their fault. But who's right? I mean... Dr. Yeager taught him one thing, and then they're teaching him another thing. There has to be truth there. Huh. I think next chapter, I don't know. It looks like that's, is that a river? Levi will be blown into the river and like, I don't know, swept away while Zeke is like growing his arms back and become, I don't know, time probably. Maybe we switch to Aaron and then Makas and them break out, I don't know. That's a, that's a thought. Um, hmm. That's what you wanted to do. Why you brainwash his brother? Hmm. Well, um, yeah. What are your thoughts? What do you think's gonna happen? Hmm. Does this does this make um Zeke more sympathetic? I mean, he betrayed his father and mother. Well, um, yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, and if you're new, subscribe, comment, thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day.